Um, hello, everybody. My name is Mariana Templin. Um, and for my Sackathon project, um, I just thought I'd have a little fun. This is a painting from my art website. Um, and so what I did was using the canvas element from HTML5, just created different filters. Um, so this is, some of them are pretty like, you've seen them before. This is invert, inverts the picture. Um, pinkify, <laughs> just makes it pink. You can reset it, um, highlighter. A lot of, uh, I had a lot of fun with specifically the sort of messing with the colors. Lisa Frank, we all remember this from our girlhoods. Um, snow is a sort of a pattern overlaid. Uh, sand is another sort of pattern you get. Kuji, looks like a Kuji sweater. Stripes. and static. So this project was definitely a lot of fun. Um, and you can also sort of mix the things together if you want. Kuji over that. Um, so there you go. So how did I do this? Basically, when you um, work with a canvas element, you can get information back from that element. Um, and it all comes in the form of a very, 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 very long array that's not really ordered at all. So you see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, et cetera, et cetera. The first four numbers represents a single pixel, um, and it's red, green, blue, and alpha for that pixel, um, and then et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and you just go through that for the entire picture. So you, um, in order to uh, filter that, you sort of go through the array, you do whatever you want to those different pixels, and then you re-render it. Um, so that was sort of a funny problem for, my, for me to wrap my mind around sort of um, thinking about everything in this grid, but also the grid being four data sets each, um, and then iterating over that and playing with that. Um, and I definitely this isn't a very big image, but you sort of get to um, big numbers fast. It's 159 times 800 pixels big times four, and suddenly you're in uh, the three, <laughs> three million range um, of things that you're iterating over, so that you sort of have to keep that in mind when you're rendering these images. And I definitely was trying to do fancy things with nested loops and ran into some problems with that, where my um, browser just straight up gave up on me. I was like, nope, <laughs> not gonna do that for you. Um, so yeah, there's, and I did this all by myself, just sort of playing around and um, iterating over these loops, but you can, uh, iterating over these arrays, but there's also a lot of libraries out there um, I definitely want to have more fun with animation and explore some of the libraries out there. Um, and then I, th I think also use, um, explore some of the algorithms for uh, visual rendering that exist out there because the things that I did were relatively simple and I think you could get really weird. Maybe um, another thought I was, ha I was having is, is doing something uh, like the game of life and going over like a picture and uh, sort of changing it like with simple rules um, similar to the game of life. Um, so yeah, that is my project. Thank you.